Welcome back to Autism Live. If you've been watching the show this week, you know that we've had a couple of things to say about the rapper 50 Cent and his comments that he recently made on his Twitter that were objectionable at the very least, offensive, certainly, towards our children and our community. We shared with you the comments that he made on that site. We shared with you the wonderful words of Holly Robinson Pete, an awesome autism mom, and her call to ask him to please refrain from making such comments. She was so eloquent and wonderful. We also reported to you yesterday about 50 Cent's apology over the weekend that he made for the comments. And I know in the last 48 hours or so, many of you have commented and said, gee, you know, this apology doesn't ring entirely sincere and that it doesn't seem like enough in light of what happened, that Mr. 50 Cent is somebody who has arguably at least 8 million followers and that to have such a voice and to have used it in such a way that the apology doesn't seem quite enough. And I can only imagine, I, I know that uh, 50 Cent celebrated his 37th birthday, that he might be asking himself, well, what exactly do I need to do for people to feel that I'm sincere? Well, I'd like to offer a suggestion that sometimes people don't feel that an apology is sincere unless you literally put your money where your mouth is. And, uh, since your name is 50 Cent and you have 8 million followers, what if you were to give 50 cents for each one of your followers and donate it to the autism charity of your choosing? That would mean a cool $4 million, right? And how much good could $4 million do for the autism community? Now, if you don't know some good charities that could benefit from that kind of money, I'd like to add some further suggestions for you of some organizations who could really use some of that money. Of course, we can start with the Holly Rod Foundation, which Holly and Rodney Pete began that helps so many families get services that they might otherwise not be able to afford. That's a wonderful organization. How about the Special Needs Network? This is an organization that helps to give families that are underserved, that underserved population that so desperately needs services to help them to find the services and access to those services when they need them instead of having to wait. That's a wonderful organization. There's another one that's a favorite of mine, Autism Care and Treatment Today. They're a wonderful organization that gives grants to families for the kinds of things they need, whether they need a fence for a child that elopes or whether they need help in paying for uh, getting a diagnosis or how about funding to bridge the gap between their insurance copay or the deductible so that they can get those services that are now available to them. That's a wonderful organization. How about Autism Speaks, which has been so important in creating important research and being absolutely instrumental in helping in autism insurance reform to get to the place that it has. That'd be a wonderful organization organization, or hey, because you're an artist, how about giving some funding to the art of autism? This is a wonderful organization that helps writers, helps performers, helps artists, helps filmmakers who are on the autism spectrum to get access to the materials and teachers they need so they can hone their craft. That would be a great thing. All of those organizations could benefit from some money, $4 million, you could split it up amongst them, or there are hundreds, literally hundreds of other organizations that could really use your support. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm just an autism mom. I'm the mom of a young man who, by the way, likes music and has an autism spectrum diagnosis, excuse me. And he is someone who has plans to be a rocket engineer because uh, he wants to study the mysteries of man in the cosmos. By the way, his nine-year-old words, not mine. He's a wonderful kid, Mr. 50 Cent. There's a lot of wonderful, wonderful children on the autism spectrum, and they're counting on you to do the right thing. I hope you will. 
And that, my friends, is how Shannon sees it. Stay tuned for more Autism Live when we come back after these messages.